Hey, what's up, turtles? Crick here. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Emberlit Original Stove. It's a folding stove made out of uh, three, 304 stainless steel. It's going for around $45 for this stainless version. There, are, there is a titanium version, which is uh, a lot more expensive. And this weighs just under 12 ounces, and it comes in this convenient little storage sleeve. But it's a folding collapsible stove and it has panels. It's really simple to put together and there are instructions on this clear panel in white. But it's really easy to put together. Yeah, let's just get it out and uh, start going through the assembly. Get everything out and show you what's in it. Or show you what comes with it. There's the panels. And these two little, little brace pieces that have been warped a little bit and all of it's warped through use, but that's okay, it doesn't really affect it. I'll show you what these are used for once I get it assembled, but. Here we have the front panel. Side, front side, front side. They're all three the same. And then we have the bottom. In the really simple construction, they're just tabs. They're really just simple tabs. And just for demonstrative purposes, just kind of put two, two of them together like this and just slide them down away. You see how they just marry together? Really simple. So what, I, what I've really figured out, I don't know, I mean, it's not really rocket science to put this together, but usually I like to put in three of them together first. Yeah, so you got three. And you, in all reality, you could just use this as a little windscreen too. If you had a little alcohol stove or something like that, there's going to be soot in this. You're having it's an open fire. And that's one of the great things about this stove, and I'll touch on everything I like about it and some of my concerns once we get through all this and I get a fire in it. I got the three sides together though, and start with the bottom now. There's three tabs. It's pretty self-explanatory, and then there's slits in the sides. One in there. Wrestle for the. There's some wrestling. You gotta do a little bit of wrestling with this. Like I said, it warps with, with use. You can see the tabs come out on the side right there. And I'll probably have to open this back up when I put the front on. Again, same thing. Push these tabs on this side. I'm trying to do it all holding in the air so you can see it with the camera. With the camera. All right, that's all buttoned in. Get that tab on the bottom in. Bam! Let me coax this side in. Bam! Oh, nope. guess my coaxion is a little, a little rusty. Is that you, Rusty? Get on it, Rusty. Sorry. All right, now pop that down. And you got solid construction. It's about six inches high sitting off the ground. From the ground here, it's about six inches high, four inches wide, you know, just some rough estimates to give you an idea. And it says made in the USA. I can't, I don't know if you can see it here, but I know it's important for some people, so I definitely want to mention that. But really, all at this point now is I want to get a fire going, and it's really the same principles as getting a fire going in any arena. We're just going to be having the fire contained in this, which is really nice. There's a lot of advantage of using a system like this, regardless if it's an emberlit design. There's a lot of advantage of using a little collapsible stove like this. This is kind of what the fuel looks like. Fuel size, there's my thumb. I'm gonna put that in that front opening, that front panel. You could do this after you get the fire going. I'm just gonna try it this way today, put it in first. I'm going to start this fire today using some feather sticks, or not some feather sticks, I guess these are curls. But I got some light ones I'm going to spark, get these lit, pop them in, then I have some twigs that I'm going to put on top. It doesn't matter what the fire looks like, you just need to get the fire going first. It's going to be hanging off, over the edges, off the sides, up top. I'm not worried about that at first, I just need to get a fire going inside of this first. So I'm going to get like these feathers I was talking about before. Light some of these, use some of these clumps of curls, 
put those twigs on top and play around with the fire. A couple of light feathers. That one's light. That one's light. This is just for the initial flame, then I'm gonna light one of these and drop it in. Put this one in at first, just to have something inside of there. And then I'll, yeah, use that one to transfer. Ready, Stony? Let's see if I can do it with just showering first. Let's do it this way. Really being conservation is not yet. <laughs> Trying to make it harder on myself. gonna let this fire burn down for a little bit but that's the nice thing about using these style of stoves is that you're just using twigs and really small marginal marginal firewood in the forest or anywhere desert urban setting anywhere there's gonna be branches coming off a tree you can get a fire like this you can cook on it you can grill on it I'm just gonna boil some water for a hot drink today but I'm just letting that go down a little bit until I get my water on there and there are two pieces that I mentioned earlier that I do want to show you since we're letting this fire go down. These two pieces I was talking about before. And you can see there's two slits in the middle of them and that they just marry like that. And you can put that on top of the fire then or on top of the box. If you're gonna be using, say a cup, you know, you just have a cup and you wanna just put your cup on here and maybe it's not wide enough your cup or uh, you know circumference to fit on here so you can put this on just as as basically like a grate to sit that on but I don't need it today push this down a little bit move that around and I'm gonna put my pot on here soon because I'm ready for some cold <laughs> some cold drink psych want some warm warm hemlock drink today and make some warm tea Oop. just gonna put a couple couple other sticks in there for the time being and then I'm gonna put my stove on or my pot on some water I have Make sure all the leaves are off of there this is creek water I don't have too much in there but we'll, we'll take this to Excuse me, we'll take this to a rolling boil and let it sit there for a little while because it is from the creek. Pushes in a little bit farther. And like I said, it's the same principles of how or how I started the fire, the same principles and the same principles apply when you're cooking over a fire. Depending what you want to do, if you want what type of heat you want. You know, if you're boiling, you're gonna want a low heat if you're gonna be cooking something. It's basically the same, but if you find yourself, maybe you need a little bit more heat and you wanna kick up high heat, you can take, um, get a little stick, a little twig. If the front openings, you know, all your, all your sort of fuel or coals are in there, you can, that's a little big, but you can just pop stuff down from the top too if you want. And you can just keep feeding it. And like I said, same principles of fire, blah, 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 blah. We get a crick. But seriously, 
the type of wood you the type of wood you use for this you know it's the same as like I said if you're having any type of fire a harder wood burns better you're gonna have you know potentially more control over the fire or hotter flame it's probably been maybe what a couple minutes Tony maybe since that pot's been on so we can check and see there's some bu some bubbles in there right now not rolling boil but they're starting to come to the surface what do you guys want to see you want to see what I'm gonna drink today Show Stony. Drinking out of my Cookska Cardal Rustic Works. But yeah, hold on. I'm gonna go grab some. Grab some goodies. Oh, my leg's giving out. Maybe one more a little bit. <laughs> you can hear it. Let's go back down. You rolling? You can hear it. You can hear it hissing. I'm not going to do anything because usually on this pot, you'll hear that once I'm actually at a rolling boil. So that'll be our cue that I'll take the lid off and show you if it's boiling, rolling. So I just grabbed some hemlock right here. This is Eastern Hemlock, Suga, Suga Canadensis is its Latin name. Really good stuff. It has like a piney taste. It's a pretty, pretty generic descriptor because it's obviously not a pine, but. That's a roller. I think I just didn't have enough water and that's why it didn't chatter. Like I was saying at first, usually with a, a fuller pot it'll chatter. I'm gonna take this off now. Let's just see what the fire looks like inside of it since we know this is at a rolling boil now. That's so cool. Sort of made a mess. <laughs> That's all right. Not getting graded today, <laughs> are we? I'm not sure if that'll be enough. We'll see how strong it'll it'll make it. I'll let that seat pry for about four or five minutes before I take a sip. That's basically all I wanted to talk about today was me using it, talk about some some of its features. But to be honest, I'm not completely sold on its design. And what I mean by that is when I put that pot on there that MSR I used, it, it takes up or goes over completely the whole opening. And I noticed it sort of obviously restricts a lot of airflow as opposed to the pots off. So I'm not sure if it's just this design with the emberlet or it's just the nature of using a stove design like this is obviously when you put the pot on top it's going to put it um you know restrict some of the airflow and then some soot comes out and then it sort of gets sooty so you see it smokes a lot more a lot more smokes come comes out of it and like i said that's doesn't really bother me but i'm just curious if there are better designs out there and you have experience with both if you have experience with this one with this design, the Emberlet, and maybe like a Bush Box or some other company. I'd be really, really interested to hear your thoughts on, um, on different designs. So let me know. Please let me know. Leave a comment if you have more experience with different companies and designs with this same type of collapsible um, stove idea. Yeah, so to, like I said, just leave me a comment. If you have any questions about anything I went over, the tea, the kuska, the pot, the stove, the ground mat, the ferro rod, the feather sticks, you think you get the point. Alright, this is Craig with Black Owl. Later, turtles.